Hello! Today we will discuss synthetic division of polynomials. A synthetic division is a shorthand or shortcut method of polynomial division generally used in finding zeros or roots of a polynomial. Let's take this example. Use synthetic division to divide p of x equals 5x squared minus 17x minus 15 by x minus 4. Several steps to follow. Step 1. Arrange the coefficients of p of x in descending powers of x, placing zeros for the missing terms. Our dividend is in the second degree, so the highest power is 2. Arrange in descending order, we have the power of 2, power of 1, and power of 0. Then, you have to get all the numerical coefficients in each term. In the first term, we have 5. In the second term, we have negative 17. And the last term is negative 15. Our divisor is x minus 4. For the second step, place the value of x in the upper right corner. To solve for the value of x, you have to equate the divisor to 0. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 4. Step 3, bring down the leading coefficient of p of x. Here, our leading coefficient is 5. Step 4, multiply the first term of the third row by the divisor, placing it in the second row. That is 5 times 4 equals 20. Step 5, add the product to the second coefficient of the dividend. So we have negative 17 plus 20 equals positive 3. Step 6, repeat steps 4 and 5 and up until the last number or last column. Step 4, multiply 3 by 4, the result is 12. Step 5 is to add, so negative 15 plus 12 equals negative 3. Our dividend is in the second degree, while the divisor is in the first degree. Therefore, our quotient must be in the first degree, 2 minus 1, based on their exponent. So we have 5x plus 3. And the result in the last column is the remainder. Therefore, we have negative 3 over the divisor, x minus 4. Final answer, 5x plus 3 minus 3 over x minus 4. This mnemonic word can help us to remember the steps in dividing polynomials by synthetic division, wherein the divisor is in the form x plus a, where b means bring down, m multiply, a odd, m multiply, then a add, up until the end. So you have to repeat, mama, mama, up until the end. Now you try. Use synthetic division to divide p of x equals 4x cubed minus 11x plus 3 by x plus 2. Pause this video, then try to answer, then play again this video to check your work. Okay, let's check. Our dividend is in the third power. Get all the numerical coefficient. We have 4. For the power of 2, we don't have any term. So we place 0. The next term is negative 11. And the constant term is positive 3. Our divisor is x plus 2. Equated to 0, the value of x is equal to negative 2. Apply the mnemonic word b ma ma ma. Bring down the first term, 4, multiply 4 and negative 2, the answer is negative 8. Then add 0 plus negative 8 is negative 8. Again, repeat the process. Negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. Add negative 11 plus 16 is positive 5. Multiply again 5 and negative 2, the answer is negative 10. Then add again 3 plus negative 10 is negative 7. So our remainder is negative 7. The dividend is in the third degree and the divisor is in the first degree. So our quotient must be in the second degree. The final answer is 4x squared minus 8x plus 5 minus the remainder is negative 7. So negative 7 over the divisor is x plus 2. If your answer is correct, then good job!
Next example. Using the division to divide P of x is equal to 9x cubed plus 2x plus 1 by 3x plus 1. Again, make sure that the dividend is in descending order. If not, then arrange it. The highest power here is power of 3. Next is power of 2, power of 1, and power of 0. Get all the numerical coefficient in the dividend. For x raised to 3, the numerical coefficient is 9. For x raised to 2, the numerical coefficient is... Oops, there is no term for x raised to 2 here. So we have to replace it by 0. For x raised to 1, we have here 2. And for the constant x raised to 0, we have 1. Next, take note that the divisor is in the form ax plus b now, since we have the numerical coefficient on the first term of the binomial. Now we have to consider the left side and the right side of the synthetic division process. On the left side, we have to write here the value of a, which is 3. On the right side, you have to write the value of b, with signs change. Then proceed to the steps. Step 1 is to bring down the numerical coefficient, which is 9. Step 2 is to divide. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Step 3 is to multiply. 3 times negative 1 equals negative 3. Next step is to add 0 and negative 3. The result is negative 3. Then repeat the process from step 2 up to step 4 until you reach the end. Again, negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Positive 2 plus positive 1 is positive 3. Then again, repeat the process. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And 1 plus negative 1 is 0. The last result on the last column is our remainder. Our dividend is in the third degree. And our divisor is in the first degree, therefore our quotient must be in the second degree. So the final answer now is 3x squared minus x plus 1. So again, another mnemonic can be used to familiarize the steps of synthetic division wherein the divisor is in the form ax plus b. b, dima, 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 dima. B means bring down, D divide, M multiply, A odd, then again repeat the process, divide, multiply, add up until you reach the end. You try this. Use synthetic division to divide P of X equals 6X cubed minus 9X squared minus 2X plus 4 by 2X minus 3. Again, pause this video and try to answer. Then play again this video for you to check your answer. Okay, let's check. Our dividend is in the third degree. So to get all the numerical coefficient for every term, we have 6. Next is negative 9. Next is negative 2. And for the constant term, we have 4. The divisor is 2x minus 3. A is 2, and the value of B is negative 3. Change the sign, that would be positive 3. Write 2 on the left side, and positive 3 on the right side. Follow the steps. B, D, M, D, M, D, M. Bring down 6, divided by 2, we have 3. Multiply by 3, we have 9. Add negative 9 and 9, the result is 0. 0 divided by 2, 0, 0 times 3, 0, negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2, divided by 2, you have negative 1, and negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Then for the last column, we have to add 4 and negative 3, the result is 1. So the remainder is 1. Again, our dividend is in the third degree and our divisor is in the first degree therefore our quotient must be in the second degree so the final answer now is 3x squared 
minus 1 plus 1 over the divisor 2x minus 3. I'm sure you got it correctly. Good job! That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye!